As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on parts and tools I use in today's video. Today, I've got a 2012 Volkswagen Passat, no start. It is not cranking and it is not starting. So let's figure out what's going on. Okay guys, and when you have this kind of problem, there's really five, I think there's about five that are the most common things you'll see. Um, you can have a bad battery, you could have a bad battery connection, you could have a bad starter, a bad alternator, and the more rare one I see is a bad ignition switch. Um, so let's go through each of these. First, I would, the easiest thing is a battery connection. So just go ahead and look at your wires, look at your connection. We can see these don't really look bad. These look pretty, pretty good to me. So what you would see is you might see a fat, like a fat wire. If you lift it up, oh, I guess a little, just a little cover, I'll grab that. But you'll see like a, a fat wire right up under here. And what that is is corrosion gets in that wire and it, it makes it fat. The fix for that would be to cut the wire behind where the corrosion is building up. And then you take a, like a universal battery connection and then stick it in there and then bolt it down in the connection. You can search Fixbook. Uh, battery connection. I'll show you a video showing you how to do that and then just kind of hook it up there Same thing for that side next. We're gonna actually test this battery One other thing um, about the connection I forgot to mention is just grab your connection try and rock it back and forth Rock it back and forth and if it spins I see that all the time you get there and the connection is just not tight you could you can the kind of the not right way to fix it um, you can take like a, a wood screw or something and kind of screw in between the connection and the post and that'll tighten it up. Uh, I see people do that a lot. And also, if you see like a bunch of corrosion, a bunch of green, blue stuff, you can take like Diet Coke and pour it over there, kind of clean it, and then take your little battery cleaner. Um, it's like a 10 millimeter right there. You take your connection off, twist, pop it up. This thing, you stick, push down, twist, and then this comes off and it's like a wire. Hold on got like a little wire cleaner in there you can clean the inside of that connection now to test the actual battery what you're gonna do um, I got a link in the below in the video description for a battery tester you just take a little alligator clips hook positive up to positive negative up to negative and right off the bat we see low charge saying 10.51 now a fully charged battery is 12.6 volts so now we're thinking well hey what if it's an alternator because if it's not getting charged up you know the alternator could be the thing so here's the thing too is if, if you don't know how the system works then you don't know how to fix it if you know how the system works you can just think about it you can use your mind and you can figure out what's going on with it so something that's new and exciting is I've partnered with my old college professor and we now have a, a course a basic course it's very affordable check the video description down below for the link and you can go on there and learn I think it has like 70 lessons um, and it makes it really easy. It's a really clean, really simple course, and you can go through all that, and you can... Hey guys, I don't know what happened to that clip, but this is still the dude's battery. Um, and to finish what I was saying, if you know how the car works, then you can freelance, you can just figure out exactly what's wrong with it. So in the video description down below, there's a link for the course. It's really cool. It'll be really helpful. You're gonna love it. But back to this battery, okay? Now, it's not on the connection and we're reading 11.43 volts, which is interesting. I think it was reading 10.46 reading or something like that. So that's a, a one volt battery drop. And basically we're gonna hit this, this, boom. Um, there's a setting, so this one was 730. You can go up on that, we can take it up. We're going up, 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 730. Test, says change, says no. Um, now it's reading 50. 54 so it read up to 76 down to 54 it's bad all the way around um, even if you charge this battery it's still gonna be bad there's it and it'll tell you that on the tool it'll say charge and it says fail we need 730 cranking amps for this battery and we got 54 so bad battery next thing we're gonna test the alternator and you'll see that here in a second but yeah go ahead start your car get you a little voltmeter set it to 12 point uh, the 12 volts and then go ahead and put your positive on a positive your negative on the negative have somebody start the car you're gonna watch the volts and you're looking for something between say 13 13.5 and 14.5 volts and that would say hey your alternator is actually charging the car we can rule out the starter because we know that's not enough to crank the starter and when you know we were able I was I just turned it a few times and it did start without a jump 
Um, but to check the starter on this one, I'm not sure where the starter is exactly on this one, but you can, there's a big fat wire on the starter and a little wire. Um, you want to make sure the car is automatic and in park, or if it is manual, make sure it's in neutral, make sure your e-brake is applied, and you can take a power probe. A power probe is going to be a tool like this. Um, there's a link below in the video description if you need one of these uh, for Amazon. And what you do is again, you got alligator clips. You hook your little alligator clips up to the battery. This thing will cut on. It'll go boo -doo. And then if you hit the top button, that is, it'll make this end positive. If you hit the bottom button, it'll make this end negative. So you would probe the wire. That's a sharp tip. You probe the little wire. Again, make sure your e brake applied, it's in park. If it's manual and it's in first, as soon as you hit this button, if the starter's good, it's gonna roll over you. So it's very important. Make sure it's in park, e brake applied. So you're gonna probe the little wire on the starter, hit the up button. If it spins over, you know, hey, that starter is actually working. Another thing is you could probe the wire, have somebody try and start it, and if it's not sending signal, this thing will light up saying, hey, we're getting positive. Um, if it is not getting signal, you know, hey, it might be an ignition switch or a fuse or a relay or something like that. So anyways, that's just kind of the different things you can start to do to figure out why your car is not starting. So I think we covered just about everything. We got the starter, the battery connection, the battery alternator, and ignition switch. Um, the wiring stuff, you just kind of hunt down. And if you learn in your course, you can... You know how everything works you know how wiring diagrams work and stuff then you can actually go and diagnose the car if it's something weird so that's it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time